Hi, in this video, I'll tell you about 15 excellent city building simulators that have already been released or are preparing for release in 2023. The first one is Terra Nil. It's a meditative ecological strategy where we'll breathe new life into barren wastelands. We'll clean the soil and oceans, plant trees, and revive the fauna to transform the lifeless world. Then, we'll leave without a trace of our presence. Thanks to procedural generation, each playthrough will be different, and the atmospheric music and pleasant hand-drawn graphics will help you relax after a tough day. Terrascape is a city-building simulator with card mechanics that combines the best elements from games like Islanders and Dorf Romantic. The gameplay revolves around placing buildings strategically to earn maximum points. The game offers both single-player and multiplayer modes. In the single-player mode, you can enjoy a campaign with specific conditions. Pharaoh A New Era is a reissue of the classic city-building simulator with the Cleopatra Queen of the Nile expansion. It comes with modern features such as support for large Ultra HD monitors, improved graphics, textures, a rewritten soundtrack, and more. You'll have access to 50 missions and over 100 hours of gameplay, where you can gradually build a city, act as the Pharaoh of Ancient Egypt, construct temples and tombs to support the population's religious needs. Aquatico is a city-building simulator where players must ensure the survival of a human colony at a giant depth. The planet's surface has become uninhabitable, and mutated creatures now rule the food chain. The only hope for humanity is a unique underwater city. Unlock new technologies and buildings, meet specified conditions, explore the surrounding territories, monitor oxygen and resource levels, and use weapons to fight dangerous monsters. Fable Dom is an adorable city-building simulator with a fairy tale atmosphere. While the content available is currently limited to around 3 hours, developers release updates every week. The game works great in early access, and its pleasant graphics are visually pleasing. In Fable Dom, you'll build and develop your village in a magical world, strengthen the economy and trade rare resources to grow and thrive. Interact with other kingdoms, including engaging in political marriages. Create your army and choose a hero to protect the village and conquer neighboring lands. Oxygen, another city-building simulator following an ecological catastrophe. It features a familiar set of constructions. We build various quality residences for the inhabitants, food and water production buildings, power plants, and so on. It's essential to provide the settlers not only with basic necessities like food, water, and shelter but also with recreational activities like cafes or decorations. The main feature of the game is ecology. Our goal is not just to survive but also to revive the lifeless planet. This is achieved by planting trees that form mini domes with oxygen and transitioning to less polluting sources of energy. Celestial Empire. This is an upcoming city-building simulator set in ancient China. As usual, we'll have to take care of the inhabitants, gather resources, and prepare for harsh winters. This involves developing industry, efficiently organizing production chains, and engaging in agriculture by cultivating various crops and raising animals. The main feature here is the significant role played by the mechanics of interacting with supernatural forces. They can either help or create serious problems. El Dorado the Golden City Builder Here, our task is to build the mythical golden city and ensure its prosperity. Temples for holding festivals with offerings will play an important role. We'll also have to defend against many enemies who want to seize the city's wealth. Besides external threats, the developers promise uprisings and social unrest. But there will also be diplomacy, allowing us to establish connections with other settlements. Gord, a dark fantasy-themed game inspired by Slavic mythology. The development studio was founded by the producer of The Witcher 3 and its expansions, so quality is not a concern. In this game, we need to take care not only of buildings and resources, but also the physical and psychological well-being of our settlers. This requires completing various quests, 
Just imagine that you're playing the role of a mayor in the world of Darkest Dungeon. That would be the most straightforward comparison. Lacera Summit Kingdom. The key feature of this game is that we have to build and develop a settlement not on plains or valleys but on the slopes of a massive mountain. This already intrigues and sets the game apart from other projects in this genre. From here, interesting mechanics come into play, such as ensuring vertical supply chains, where we'll need lifts, bridges, roads, and even the use of beasts of burden like yaks. The gameplay will also be spiced up by random natural disasters like avalanches. To combat them, we'll have a wide range of tools such as building walls or planting forests. Manor Lords we have been eagerly awaiting this game from Polish developers for several years now. The game looks very promising, and I had a chance to play the demo version, which was highly engaging. Apart from the familiar building and resource management mechanics, the game includes diplomacy and interaction with other lords, as well as a full-fledged real-time combat system if negotiations fail. The developers promise to make the battles hardcore and realistic, where each warrior's actions will matter. Thus, there are good chances of getting a worthy successor to Stronghold with top-notch graphics. Pioneers of Pagonia, a great option for those who want to try their hand at city building simulation for the first time. The game is the brainchild of the game designer who created the cult series of strategies, The Settlers. The original series was released from 1993 to 2011, and a reboot was launched in February of this year. Pioneers of Pagonia stands out with its pleasant graphical style, beautiful animations, a rich gameplay experience featuring 40 different structures and 70 types of products, mechanics for combating various monsters, and exploration of uncharted points on the map. Builders of Greece in this game, we will attempt to build a powerful empire on the islands of ancient Greece. We will not only construct the city and sustain its economy through trade but also balance the needs of our citizens within the polis. As the polis expands there will be a necessity to engage in diplomacy with other polis through intrigue and bribery, and at times, resolve disputes on the battlefield. Far Away Lands Rise of Yokai this fantasy strategy game with elements of real-time city-building simulation is set in feudal Japan. Here, we will need to build our city, grow various fruits and vegetables, stockpile firewood for winter, gather resources, explore new lands, trade with other cities, and defend our city against evil spirits. City Skylines 2 the first installment proved to be the most extensive and popular modern city development simulator. The game enjoyed extensive post-release support for over 8 years, including more than 60 DLCs. However, it is now time for a full-fledged sequel that can boast larger maps, new interesting road tools and traffic systems, a comprehensive weather system, and new scenarios of natural disasters such as hailstorms or rat infestations. That's all thank you for watching, the Image Game channel was with you, have a good day.